Hi, and welcome to week eight of World History 2. So this week, we will be looking over the following. We will delve into the political and legal ideas in the Declaration of Independence and the United States Constitution. We will then describe the social divisions of France's old order, explore the causes of the French Revolution, explain the reforms enacted by the National Assembly, including the Declaration of the Rights of Man and, and of the Citizen, and finally, elucidate why the French Revolution entered into a more radical phase. So, the Declaration of Independence, penned by Thomas Jefferson in 1776, and the United States Constitution, ratified or changed or modified in 1787, are cornerstones of American democracy. The Declaration, with its ringing assertion that, quote, all men are created equal, end quote, and endowed with unalienable rights such as life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, set forth the idea of individual rights and equality before the law. The U.S. Constitution, on the other hand, lays out the structure of the American government and its guiding principles. It establishes a federal system separating powers between the executive, legislative, and judicial branches to prevent any one branch from becoming too powerful. Additionally, it includes the Bill of Rights, which enumerates individual freedoms, emphasizing the protection of these rights in a democratic society. France's older or old order, which is up next, was marked by stark social divisions. Society was divided into three estates. The first estate consisted of the clergy, the second, the second estate of the nobility, and the third estate, which included the commoners, made up the majority of the population. This arrangement fostered profound inequalities, with the first and second estates enjoying privileges, such as exemption from taxes, while the third estate bore the financial burden of the state. These inequalities were exasperated by economic disparities, with the urban bourgeoisie and the rural peasantry suffering from heavy taxation and exploitation. The social divisions created simmering discontent and laid the groundwork for the revolution to come. Go so on to the causes of the French Revolution. Uh, the French Revolution was ignited by a confluence of factors, uh, economic woes, including a financial crisis and soaring bread prices contributed to public frustration, enlightenment ideas which championed reason, liberty, and equality had been percolating for years and influenced the people's desire for political change, a fiscal crisis further strained the monarchy as the cost of wars and extravagant court expenses led to a heavy tax burden on the commoners. King Louis the Sixteenth's ineffectual leadership and resistance, resistance to reform uh, efforts further inflamed tensions. So, in response to the growing crisis, the National Assembly was formed in 1787-89. Uh, this representative body took various transformative measures, including the abolition of the feudal privileges, which freed the peasantry from serfdom and the issuance of the Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen. This declaration proclaimed equal rights, liberty, and property rights, embodying the principles of the Enlightenment. These reforms aimed to establish a constitutional monarchy and limit the power of the monarchy, which had traditionally been absolute. The Assembly sought to create a more just and equitable society based on the principles of liberty and equality. As the revolution progressed, it entered a more radical phase. Increasingly radical factions, such as the Jacobins, gained influence. The monarchy was abolished, and King Louis XVI was executed in 1793. A period known as the Reign of Terror followed, marked by mass executions and the suppression of perceived counter-revolutionaries. The revolution entered a more radical phase, partly due to external threats. France was at war with multiple European monarchies, and this external pressure 
further fueled the radicalization of the revolution as leaders sought to consolidate power and defend the republic. So I hope this was a helpful preview for the week ahead. I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class. Thank you.